Today we look at Indianus. What is Indianus? Wikipedia defines it thusly. Indianus refers to the sequential order in which bytes are arranged into larger numerical values when stored in memory or when transmitted over digital links. But what does it mean? Suppose we would like to store the following decimal number in memory, 1234. How will we do it? First, we need to convert it into hexadecimal, as this is typically how the machine portrays numbers to us humans. In a C language, a signed integer takes up 4 bytes of space regardless of the actual size of the number. There are exceptions to this, which we'll disregard in this video. Now the question becomes, how do we fit those 4 bytes in memory? In our memory representation, which is the long rectangle at the bottom, we stipulate that the memory address grows from right to left. You do not necessarily need to follow this convention. Let's zero out the memory. First, we look at Little Indian. Remember, with Little Indian, the least significant byte goes in first. In other words, the least significant byte goes into the lowest memory address. The rest then follows. Now we look at Big Indian. This is exactly the opposite of Little Indian. With Big Indian, the most significant byte goes in first. In other words, the most significant byte goes into the lowest memory address. The rest then follows. The distinction between Little and Big Indian originates from processor designs from different shops. Today, Little Indian is widely used by Intel and AMD processors running the x86 instruction set. This is incidentally why Little Indian is sometimes referred to as the Intel convention. Big Indian is widely used in network protocols. For instance, when TCP sends a stream of data, the data are beamed out in Big Indian format. This is why Big Indian is sometimes called network byte order. Normally, you would not need to worry about those distinctions. However, if you're doing low-level network programming, you'll need to make sure data are converted properly, lest inexplicable misfortune shall befall you. Thanks for watching. I'd like to give special thanks to Cook Dang Rice Macaulay, who did not sponsor this video. Many bottles of this delicious fermented rice drink were consumed during the making of this video. This is an Indian tribe production, all rights very much reserved.